Hey Valley Middle, good evening. Uh, tonight we're going to take the learning from 6.6a and push it a little bit further into some enrichment and look at multiple step ratio problems. You're going to need a calculator, so grab one if you don't have one. Uh, tonight officially the target is 6.6a enrichment, pushing it a little bit further. Um, I can solve real world ratio and rate problems. Um, no trivia or anything tonight, this is just a short one here. All right, take a look at this ratio. One to two to three. Now we really haven't seen a, a three-part ratio like that, but it really is going to work the same as a two-part ratio. So we've got something that has a ratio of one to two to three. Maybe it's a recipe. And we need to know what that ratio would be if the second part of it is eight, but we don't know what the first part of the ratio is or the last part. Well, take a look at this. If we just take and think about this as two ratios, 1 to 2 and something to 8, we can solve that very simply. We multiply diagonally. 1 times 8 is 8. We divide 8 divided by 2, the other two numbers. We use the box. In other words, 1 times 8 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. We can put that in and very easily find that first number. So this is one ratio, 1 to 2 and 4 to 8, and that makes total sense. We can also find the other number just by sliding over and thinking about this as a ratio as well. 2 to 3 and 8 to something. All right, well, let's do the math. Multiply diagonally. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 divided by 2 is 12. And we can pop that in. And now we've got the ratio 8 to 2, or 2 to 3. And make sure you can see that. 2 to 3 and 8 to 12. Now, you can still check cross products to make sure they work. So I'm actually going to take that number. I'm going to stick it up here. And I'll take and put this number up here just to make sure we can see them. Uh, and you'll notice that when we look at this ratio then, we still have 4 times 2 is 8, and 1 times 8 is 8. So we know we're correct, and then we'll check the cross products on this other one, make sure I didn't make a mistake. 8 times 3 is 24, 2 times 12 is 24. Okay? Let's try solving some problems like it. All right. A triangle has sides A, B, C in the following ratio, 2 centimeters, to 3 centimeters to 4 centimeters, or 2 to 3 to 4. A second triangle sides have the same ratio. Side A on this triangle is 8 centimeters. What is the length of side C? No, well, we just need to know one, but we're going to have to find them all. Solve it in two steps. Use the box like I did, and let's see if you guys are super de duper. <laughs> Not sure what to do? All right, I'll take you through the first one. All right, let's see then. Uh, well, we're going to multiply diagonally, 8 times 3, which would be... Uh, 24, and then we're going to divide by 2, which would be 12. Let me see, make sure my math is right. I think I have it right here. 8 times 3 is 24. Then 24 divided by 2 is 12, so we put 12 up here. There's our, our new number, and let's just double check the cross products. This is 24, 2 times 12, 8 times 3 is 24. So we know that that's correct. Now, we can just slide this over, and we can think about this ratio here now. Cool, huh? Well, we have to go 12 times 4. That would be 48, and then 48 divided by 3 would be 16. Well, we could pop that guy in there and see if our ratios match this way, or our cross products match. 12 times 4 is 48, 3 times 16 is 48. So we're, cr so we're done, right? Yay! Wait, did we answer the question? What is the length of uh, side C in this new ratio? Well, let's get rid of this guy. This would be side A, B, and C. So the answer would be 16 centimeters, because this first one was 8 centimeters, 12 centimeters, and 16 centimeters. All right? Let's try another one. All right. See if you can solve this one on your own. A box, a box's dimension, sorry, I did this wrong. A box's dimensions for length, width, and height are in the following ratio, 10 to 12 to 8 inches. A second box has sides that have the same ratio. The length of this box is 6 inches. So we're going to add that 6 to something to something. What is the height of the box? Go ahead and give that a shot, see if you can figure it out. Solve it the same way we just did. All right, let's see how you did. All right, let's just scroll down, take a look at this first one. Well, 5 times 12 would be uh, 60. 60 divided by 10 is 6, so this would be 6 here. All right, now we've got another ratio we can look at over here. Uh, 6 times 8 would be 48. 
48 divided by 12 would be 4. I'll slide this guy in here. Check cross products on all of these guys just to make sure we're doing okay. 5 times 12 is 60. 6 times 10 would be 60. 6 times 8 is 48. 12 times 4 is 48. So we know our answers are correct. Let's just make sure we answer the question now. What is the height of the box? So this was length to width to height. Remember? Length to width to height. So length to width to height. And it was in inches, I believe. So that's 4 inches. So that second box is, you know, considerably smaller. Half the size, as a matter of fact. All right. Here's a more complicated one you'll need your calculator for. Last year, Joe Mauer had 125 hits, 60 runs scored, and 55 RBIs, or runs batted in. Assuming that this year's stats follow the same ratio, how many runs will he score and RBIs will he have if he gets 200 hits? Ha! I'd love to see him get 200 hits. I don't think it's going to happen. Go ahead and see if you can solve the problem. Go ahead. All right, let's see how you did. All right, this is the way I set it up, just like I did before. So 125, we're going to solve this guy first. So I'm just going to kind of cover this up. So um, 200 times 60 is 12,000. And then that'd be that 12,000 divided by 125 down here would be 96. So I could take and stick 96 up here. And then I can take a look at the second part of the ratio, you know. 60 to 55, 96 to something. So then 96 times 55 is 5,280. 5,280 divided by 60 would be 88. So take a look at this. If this was 125 hits to 60 runs to 55 RBIs, if he got 200 hits and they follow the same ratio, he'd have 96 runs scored and 88 RBIs. All right? That's kind of complicated. On a problem like that, you need to check your cross products. And here's the way I did it for you. I just did 96 times 125. That's 12,000. 60 times 200 is 12,000. And then I looked over on this side because here's my second set of ratios. 60 times 88 is 5,280. 96 times 55 is 5,280. And there's a little slam bam, thank you, ma'am, enrichment lesson on working with you know multiple step problems where you've got a ratio with uh, in a one to two to three type of ratio. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good evening.